There are many reasons why it might feel difficult to set a boundary in your life. And so we're going to use this tapping process to help work with whatever emotions, whatever layers might be there for you. And EFT works best in the specific rather than the abstract. What I mean by that is rather than just tapping generically on like, oh, it's hard for me to set boundaries, which it might be, it's going to be more useful if you can give yourself a moment here and you can be tapping on the side of your hand while you do this to think about some specific instance some area of your life some person right there is some reason you clicked on this video so you've got a certain layer or level of specificity here i'd like you to hold that scenario that person in your mind connecting to that a little bit because tapping on that is going to connect more deeply to what's really going on for you in your own specific layers as best as we're able to do in a video format here. So go ahead repeating after me, even though it feels really difficult for me to set a boundary here. I choose to accept myself as best I can and that there's a good reason that some part of me doesn't feel comfortable. Even though it feels really challenging to set this boundary, to say no, or to set my terms or limits, I choose to honor how challenging this is for me and not to diminish that and to respect that a part of me doesn't feel safe. Even though it feels really, really difficult, if not impossible, or like I don't know what to do, or how to set a boundary here. I choose to accept myself as best I can and to be compassionate towards myself in respecting that there must be a reason. Something in me feels like there's a consequence in setting this boundary. Okay, now through the points. It feels hard to set this boundary. Maybe it feels like confusion. Like I don't know what to say or how to say it. Maybe my body just tenses up. Maybe I totally visualize it in my mind. I have the words I would say or the email I would write. But then when I get in the situation, it feels difficult or impossible. Or something else just comes out of my mouth. Or suddenly I'm saying what they want to hear. And I first want to welcome any ways I might be judging myself. Saying I'm a people pleaser or I'm lacking some kind of strength or discipline. And while that might appear true on the surface, I'm open to the possibility that something else is going on here. There's some part of me based on past experiences, based on family dynamics, based on all of that or more, 
that says, if we say no here, or if we make ourselves unavailable, or if we disconnect, there's going to be a consequence. We're going to lose something of value. Or they're going to attack us in some way. Maybe it doesn't feel safe to set this boundary. If it felt safe and okay, maybe I can trust that I would just do it. I don't need to beat myself up about this. I choose to understand as best I can on a feeling level what's actually going on here. What am I afraid is going to happen? And I'm looking at that with compassion. Something is protecting me. It's not just about standing up for myself. Some part of me feels in conflict here. And I want to acknowledge that. And if it doesn't feel safe or we don't know how, I want to use this time with myself to be curious. What would make it feel more safe? Is there a smaller boundary we can set? Is there anything I can process even right now? Is there anything that I'm imagining that I wouldn't be able to handle? Because maybe I couldn't handle it when I was younger. But maybe I could handle it now. And if that's the case, maybe it's okay to relax that protection a bit. I just want to keep working with myself in a positive way to see what I need in order to move forward here. What resources or time, or letting go, or feeling more safe, feeling more capable in the right here or right now, that would help me move forward. I don't need to set all the boundaries today. I need a healthy way of relating to myself where I can begin to feel more safe, where I can let more things process, and then let the boundaries emerge as I feel more and more safe to do so. Okay, take a breath, and also just open up to, in addition to this inner work that you're doing here, if there's anything else you might need to learn in terms of communication or ways to handle this advice, be open to all layers of this, right? The tapping the way we did it here was to just work with that resistance or that energy that says, I don't feel safe setting this boundary. Setting a boundary often gets 
you know, into that space of like, it's just willpower or discipline or self-empowerment. And there's usually more complex dynamics going on there. So I hope this helps you in that direction. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks.